So yesterday ended up as a bit of a scouting mission really. Uh, and we've come down to the area where we found there were loads of berries around. So the next one we've been trying to do this morning is get the light in the right direction because there's a lovely sunrise behind me. It's giving me some nice, nice gentle light across the place. But in some places where there are bushes this side, it means the bushes the other side are actually in shade. So we found a bit of a gap here where the sun can come through and into the bushes where the berries are and hopefully the birds will come into those, those bushes. Um, the other thing we've been looking for is we really want a nice background. So we've tried to find some trees or bushes that are lower down and we're slightly, slightly elevated on the path here. Um, so if we can find the bushes that are slightly lower down, we can actually shoot down towards, uh, in, in, the, in the distance there are some fields and trees and things, so it would give us a nice green or, or slightly brown background rather than just shooting straight up into the sky. Because, you know, I never look at, think it looks fantastic, sometimes you have to do it, but I never think it looks fantastic when you're shooting the birds just with the sky as the background. So yeah, so that's what we've got. We've got the sun at the back of us coming down into the bushes. We've got the bushes with the berries on, with a nice background against them. Just need some birds now. So I'm just going to sit here and see what happens. What I have done is, because I'm a bit exposed in most of these areas at the moment, I've actually ordered a scrim net, so hopefully that's going to turn up today. So if we can come out again tomorrow, um, then hopefully we can drape the scrim net over us and that will give us a bit of cover as well. Because they are, the, these red wings and field fairs do seem very skittish so um, they're not really used to people around this area so. so yeah that's the plan let's see if we can get some images thinking about moving on from here. Um, it wasn't a great deal going on, but it suddenly come to life with little bits like wrens, robins and stuff floating around. So just wondering if it might be worth me just staying a little bit longer uh, and see what happens. There's quite a few little things fluttering around in here. We've got, we've got no field fairs or um, Or anything else at the moment. So uh, we did get one field fair at one stage, but that was about it. But then, then nothing after that. So I think, I think I'm just going to stay here. To be honest, it's just nice. There's some nice light coming through now. So I'm just going to stay here and just uh, see if anything turns up. So I think I'm starting to realise that uh, capturing these red wings and field fair is not going to be as easy as I thought it would be. There are a lot of them around, but what's difficult is when you want it to land in a specific tree with a specific background on almost a specific branch, that's when you really start you know, asking yourself when's that going to happen. So. I think you just got to keep persevering. I mean, you know, I could I could run around. I could probably get a shot of a field fair or a um, or a red wing or something, you know. But I'm striving for that special shot, 
you know I don't just want any old shot I want that nice clean background I want the bird in the right light I want the bird on the right branch um, so yeah so I think it's going to take us longer than we thought but you know that really is part of the fun of doing this you know while he's sitting here and you're just admiring the the atmosphere around you, you know, it's beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful morning again. It started off misty, um, it's now clear that the sun's come through, uh, the mist's starting to clear, so it's, um, you know, the, the light's getting a bit brighter now. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning, you know. What could be better than sitting here in the long grass, hiding away, waiting for something special to happen. And those days when there's something really special happens, that's what it's all about. And it makes it really worth it. I think we're on about day day three, day four of this hunt for the uh, red wings and field fairs now. Been struggling a bit. We found some nice locations, but really struggling. We've got some images, but we're struggling to get them in the right place at the right time. So it's, uh, it's been a bit tough. Um, yesterday we came out uh, and it absolutely poured down with rain. Um, so, you know, it was real, really tough to do anything. Uh, this morning, Seems quite a nice morning. I think the weather forecast saying there's some rain coming in a little bit later, um, but it's quite cold. You know, it's a lovely cold morning. It's, I think it's about plus two degrees C at the moment, so that's that's quite nice. I like that. Um, but yeah, let's go and see if we can find anything today, because uh, yeah, days are cracking on really.
I'm just sitting down here in the grass. Um, I was doing okay. I mean, the birds were starting to come around me. Um, they were getting used to me just being here. I've just got a scrim net over me just to hide me away a little bit. Um, they're getting used to me. Uh, they're still flying around a little bit now. But just as it was, you know, getting quite interesting, I thought we might get the shot. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a dog walk came up the path and uh, spooked them all, so um, they all disappeared again. So, but, you know, we're starting to get somewhere, so hopefully we might get the image we want with a bit of luck. <laughs> 